Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rex for here, and welcome back to another game tutorial. And today we're going to be learning how to create a password slash code unlock system. Very awesome, very cool, and overall very simple. You guys know how I love that simplicity. So uh, before we begin, I just want to go really quickly and say that the Rex for channel has now hit over 400 subscribers and got over like 130,000 something views. And just thank you guys so much. Whether you're a subscriber, whether you're just a viewer, whether this is your first video you're viewing for the first time, just thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys are just so so awesome, and uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying my content that much. So, uh, in any case, let's go ahead and just shut the tutorial off before I start rambling on like I do. So, what you want to basically have for this tutorial is two sprites, and those two sprites are going to become two objects. And basically, the only reason I have this player here is because I'm using this as kind of like a player unlock example. Uh, but of course, you could use it for anything you want, whether it's unlocking, you know, an item or a door or whatever the heck you want to unlock um, with it. Um, basically, I'm just going to be using a player because I think it'd be pretty easy. Um, so this is a 32 by 32 sprite, and I just obviously drew something pretty cute there, little cute little player. And now what else you want to have as well is an SPR underscore locked sprite. Now what's in the sprite is, it's mine is currently a 32 by 32, but the dimensions don't really matter too much. Um, but basically just draw something that symbolizes that it's actually locked. Uh, right, or I guess whatever you want, but um, I just use something that looks like it's actually locked. So what you want to go and do now is make an object of both those sprites, and you're not going to put anything in the kind of the prize, I suppose, of the uh, the locked object here, kind of the player object, as I'm kind of referring to as the prize there. I guess I'm kind of thinking this as a treasure chest, so like the locked object here is more your treasure chest, and if you kind of enter the correct code in it, you can open it up and get your prize, which is the player. So <laughs> uh, I guess that's how I'm thinking about it. Um, but what you want to go ahead and do is is in your obj player underscore locked or whatever the heck you've named it that's what i've happened to named it here i'm um, going to go add event and go mouse left pressed and control and click and drag over some code and i will have this code in the description box as well so you guys don't have to type it all out you guys can go in and just copy and paste and if it's not which most likely it will be but if it's not um, i'll go ahead and put it in the paste bin for you guys to go just click the link and download and copy and paste all that fun stuff so basically what this code is doing is it's basically saying is setting a variable unlock equals this get string and then you can obviously change this uh please enter an unlock code if you wish as well as the type code here just make sure that you keep it inside of these uh, these little quotations here. So basically this is saying that um, whatever you type in here, if it's equal to this, which this right here, obviously where it says Rexbury is the correct password, you can type in something like, uh, I don't know, um, awesome. There we go. So obviously I spelled that wrong, but... <laughs> Let me go ahead and correct that. There we go. So if the correct code was awesome and the player interpreted that um, in there in the actual box and um, it actually you know was correct, then it would instance change into my player object, so this object here. And if it wasn't, it would just say invalid and lock code. And of course you can change this as well to like something like wrong answer or whatever you want. So that's pretty much how that works. Let me go ahead and just kind of, now you guys obviously know how everything kind of plays out. Let me go ahead and just really quickly show you guys the end result. So I'll see you guys here in All just right, a we are back with our example of our little unlock example thing here, which I guess sounds kind of weird. But nonetheless, uh, when we go ahead and click this, so this little box comes up here. It says type code here. And uh, the answer is, was it, no, it was awesome, wasn't it? Okay. Awesome. And I spelled that wrong again. <laughs> there we go. And our little object gets turned into our player object. And there we go. Now, um, if you were to type in the wrong answer, it would say invalid code or wrong answer, I guess, in this um, this case. But I obviously forgot to do that, so I couldn't really show you guys. But you can, guys, uh, can, of course, test it on your own time. And I apologize if I sound kind of, like, weird in this video. Um, it is really warm, like, in my area. It's, like, hitting the hundreds. Uh, actually, no, it's only 90 right now. Never mind. It's supposed to hit the hundreds today, though, and uh, it's really warm in here as it is, so I apologize for that. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. Hopefully it helps you out, and um, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe, and all the different kind of stuff. And uh, this has been Rex Furry. Very, very warm Rex Furry, and um, kind of weird sounding, too, I suppose. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'll see you all next time.